Alright, what's going on guys? Check this out, man. I'm up here just making another tutorial video. I decided I'm going to get back in this tutorial video phase. Try to show y'all guys how to make some of these calls and how to do what y'all do. I'm going to make this simple, sweet, and easy. Guys, if you want to know how to sit here and do working belts, you want a working belt, you want working RGB lights, huh? Yeah, I said something that it might this is the same tutorial it works for both I'm so sorry I'm tired of seeing people trying to do work in RGB lights and only have the light works because the left one don't work or the right one don't work or the belt the left side of the belt don't work or the right one don't work blah 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 same old da, 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 da. same old same old so this is a quick tutorial alright this is a quick tutorial on what you do to get it to work this both of these go for the same thing you make sure your light is separated your light or your belt needs to be separated like this is this is for working belts and working RGB lights okay which I'm gonna make a separate video on RGB lights just to make sure that you get the understanding of that but this will be showing you how to work in belts so all you got to do is you got your belt separated from the motor cool no problem if you don't know how to do that please please put the motor in polygon mode and grab and select click separate grab and select just the belt hopefully it select just the belt and once it separates all that for you then you click detach polygons and then name it to something like belt a boom all right so now going forward let's go ahead and move to the next spot because i'm trying to make this quick so then you need to go ahead and make a dummy dummy called miscellaneous underscore z Boom, you're done, right? Drag that inside your car. Boom, done. Drag the belt inside your car. Boom, done. All right. Highlight just the belt only. Don't fuck the dummy. Fuck the little miscellaneous Z dummy. Highlight just the belt only. And then you're going to go to move. Move axis only. And make sure it's on X. So go ahead and turn pivot off now. And then boom, slide it over. It don't matter how far you slide it. That's really up to you. I don't really care. It doesn't really matter to me. But this is where I slide it. Once you get done, go over to mirror. Make sure that mirror geometry and mirror axis is on. Once you do that, click it. It should flip over. And then you're done, basically. But make sure that it's moving. Go into your material browser to see mine's on vehicle generic uh, vehicle interior too. No, that's not what you need to make it move. What you needed to make it move is vehicle track two. Now, if it's RGB lights, you're gonna use tr vehicle track two emissive. But use vehicle track two. Boom. All right. And when I go in and make sure you go ahead and convert this to compound. Make sure LOs click. Boom. You're good to go. Export the car. This is what it's going to look like now. It's going to be hanging outside the car in Z model. When you import it, that's what it's going to look like. Please do not try to move it because if you move it, it ain't going to work. It ain't going to work in your favor. I'm just being honest. So, with that being said, guys, don't move it. All right. So, what I'm about to do now is I'm going to go ahead and export it. We're going to take you in the game and we should be all right. So let's go ahead and go in the game. Hold on, export. Uh, uh, uh. Let me see. Uh. All right, boom, replace. Also, this car will be a car up for sale on the website as soon as I get done doing what I'm doing to it. I'm doing a, a wheel swap and some more shit and just trying to make sure it's overall running like it needs to be. Let's find my belt texture. Boom. Mm -mm -mm. 
Simplest tutorial ever, right? Let's go inside my game. Let's go check this car out. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I didn't mean... Oh, shit. Well, for whatever reason, my game isn't starting. Oh, there it go. I gotta, I gotta put the damn car inside the damn what's called, guys. My bad. Even goats forget, you know. Oh, L four. Yes. Going to open IB. Copy this name. Uh, I have a uh, DLC compiler, but I like to. I'm old school, man. I like to do my shit the old school way. I don't give a damn if it takes longer. The only time I do it with the compiler is uh, update, updates, common data. Is when um, I got massive. I got a lot of goddamn cars I gotta do. Boom, boom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, all right, boom. Now let's go on back in the game. Let's go ahead and get in here and see what we got. Forget my game being in window mode. I don't care. I'm just in here to show y'all something real quick. Hopefully everything is working. So I can go ahead and make the next tutorial video. Which everything should be working. I'm not worried about it not being working. So, you know. Because this is, like, like I said, this is a simple ass tutorial. Simple. the car guys because it's gonna probably look like shit I didn't see it in the list, but we're gonna see. We're gonna leave it running. I had to spawn my car up by name. Luckily, I knew the damn name of it. Y'all see that? Y'all see that right there? That's really it, really. A lot of people like to use straight flat belt surfaces. 
But you see it's moving on both sides, literally. Literally, like. There you go. See how that go? Literally, belt moving. Alright guys, that ends this tutorial, man. Comment, like, subscribe. Move shit on the way.